I've been looking at some of the improvements that Microsoft are making in Intune around Apple device management, specifically declarative device management. Now, this is a feature that is kind of in preview. It's already available in the Intune console right now, but it's almost kind of hidden. But the underlying concepts behind how it works are pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the settings catalog. In fact, I've got the Microsoft Learn documentation open right now, and this is just using the settings catalog on Mac OS devices, for example. So if I scroll down, you can see that when it comes to Mac OS devices and, and iOS devices, declarative device management, DDM, is built into the settings catalog, which means that as Apple make more settings available via the profile specific payload keys, they will appear in Intune when they're released by Microsoft, which means that the settings catalog will just continue to grow as Apple improve that capability. Let's take a look at some of the settings we have right now, firstly. I'll go into Mac OS. I want to go with uh, Configuration Profiles, Create Profile, down to Settings Catalog and choose Create. And I'll just call it Mac OS Settings Catalog Profile Edge. We'll go next and settings and I'm going to go and find edge choose search and we've got the edge profile here and I'm just gonna well there's 259 available in edge whoa okay that is a lot of settings for edge all right let's take a look at this action to take on startup one then right at the top we'll start there and it says how Edge behaves on startup. Awesome, let's just go into that. And right, so we can specify that it either restores the last session or opens a list of URLs or opens in a new tab. Brilliant. That is a pretty important thing to be able to set. Some of your users might expect that to be set for them. You might have a policy which sets it either way. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Add another one. You can add more than one. I just happened to leave the uh, screen at the time there. So you can add more of these. In fact, you could choose all of them, but then you get a big list. So what I'm going to do is just find the ones that I want. And the surf game. You can allow or deny the surf game there. Scroll a bit further down. Ask where to save downloaded files. Okay, I've got a few settings. So we can block the... Uh, surf game and we can enable asking where to save downloaded files if you don't configure it they're automatically saved in the uh, download default location without asking the user where to save them which kind of makes sense so if that's what you wanted then you would set that my point I'm not trying to set settings here that you should set I'm just showing you that the settings available within Intune for Mac OS are vast Let's have a look at one more setting that we can set. I'm going to just send this down to my devices just quickly and go to do a new one. New profile, for example, in call software update profile via catalog. Go next and I'm going to type in software updates or well, just software, see what happens. Okay, software updates right here. So we have this one here, and we also have the DDM, the Declarative Device Management Software Update. And here we can choose details, URL, and target build version. Select those, and over in the catalog, you can see that we specif can specify the target build version and the details URL. I have absolutely no idea what the details URL is. I know the target build version because I have a device which is at the target build version, so let me go to that. If I choose Mac, and here you actually get the full build number of my personal Mac OS device, which is higher, significantly higher than the other Mac I've got in the environment. So I'm going to choose that, put that in there. Maybe that'll work. Maybe. Um, and then we'll go to have a look at the details. URL. The URL of a web page that shows details that the organization provides about the enforced update. I don't think I've got that. I'm going to remove that. Target local date time. So that's when to force the install. Use the t use that format, which is derived from RFC 339, but doesn't include the time zone offset. Wow. 
if the user doesn't trigger it before this time the device force installs it. I haven't got time to figure out what that time is in my time zone. Well, I guess I'm GMT plus one. Um, and the target OS version, uh, I can go with 14.1, I guess. Perfect, okay. I am going to try going next. Okay, need to have some kind of date and time in there. We'll give that a go. I'll choose next and next and apply to all my devices and choose next. And okay, I think I might have done that right. And as usual, in these videos, I don't do a lot of research about the new stuff that comes out before I start recording. So we'll see if that worked. We'll choose create. I'll get it over to my Mac device. You'll see it in a few seconds. I'll jump over to that machine. Hopefully we'll see that profile come down and hopefully we'll see it decide to update the device and force it for us. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's, it's I'm going to say fun. It's not fun. It's interesting, isn't it? Let's, let's give it a go. So how do I do this? I will jump over to here and here we have a blank screen, but I guarantee I have a Mac. If I just unlock it, there we go. And let's see if we can get this profile to come down. So settings, no, not settings, company portal. Just synchronize this device. Actually, let me just check the version of this device before we go any further. General about it is on 13.4 Ventura, so that's good and perfect. Let's see that change later on, hopefully. Right. It's not happy about not being encrypted, and that's definitely something I need to fix. But I wipe this device so often, it's probably not worth doing just yet. Um, okay, let's check the status one more time and in the meantime I am going to go over to the profiles and see if we've got the profile come down so that's in uh, privacy and security down to profiles and what's this one here disable fonts doesn't sound like what I was doing this one Oh, it was installed about the right time, that's about a minute ago. Allow the surf game, prompt for download location. Yeah, okay, that's the one I set just then. Great. Okay, well, while we wait for that to happen, let me just go into Launchpad, open up Edge. I'm going to go ahead and type Edge Surfs. See if it lets me play the surf game. Oh dear. It appears to let me play the surf game. Well, that's unfortunate because I definitely see that there's a profile here which is meant to prevent me playing the surf game. Oh, hang on. Allow surf game, yes. Right. Clearly I chose to allow the surf game rather than prevent it. That wasn't what I was trying to do. Uh, config profiles. It was the edge one. Edge. Oh, surf game allowed. Okay, my bad. Let's undo that. View and save and save. And get this back over to my device. Sync, yes, just here, allow surf game zero, okay. Right, let's go back into edge and type edge surf. Still allowed, I haven't restarted edge though, so let's try that. And surf is blocked. Okay, so the settings catalog works. We are able to block the surf game and do various other settings within edge. I haven't managed to get the software update declarative device management preview 
section to work. Maybe I've done that wrong. I'm going to figure out that and hopefully come back in a little while and explain how that works. See you next time.